Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Midjourney and Midjourney has just released their style tuner. Just came out an hour ago or so. I've been playing with it. Let me show you what it can do. In a nutshell, the style tuner allows you to personalize the appearance of your Midjourney images using their new style turner. You can use the forward slash tune, which I'm gonna show you how to do. You'll see it running here behind me. It allows you to generate a range of sample images showing different visual styles based on your prompt. You can create your own favorite images, you can choose them, and you'll get a unique code that you can use to customize your future jobs. How cool does that sound? It's pretty cool, let's see how to do it. All right, so here I am inside Midjourney, and I wanna go ahead and use the new style tuner. The first thing you wanted, like I said, forward slash tune. When you do that, you'll see that forward slash tune is a prompt now. I'll hit enter, and now I'm just gonna enter in whatever I'm looking for. So I'm looking for an angry red and orange hell, I don't know, maybe like an angry, I don't know why I said hell house, I wanted a hellhound. Orange Hellhound. So I'm trying to make some spooky stuff for the Halloween type vibe and then I hit enter. When I do that though, different options pop up now. Here we go. It says create style tuner. Yes, I want to create a shareable style tuner based on my prompt to customize the style of your images. Now here's where it gets better is we can go and select the number of style directions. And I want to point out very quickly up front here that these are done in pairs. So you get 32 directions, for example, that means 64 images. So whatever you see here, times it by two, it's done in pairs. You'll also get an approximate number of fast GPU hours or GPU credits that it uses, or fast hours, and it takes a few minutes to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and select 64 style directions. From there, you can see I can select default mode or raw mode. I'm gonna go ahead, now I wanna raw dog it, but I'm gonna go with the default mode and you can experiment with both and then I'm gonna submit. It's going to take maybe a minute or two for it to do it. It's gonna send me a message when it's done so I know it's done. And when it is done, I'll come back, I'll show you what we got. We're going to their website. All right, see you in a second. All right, welcome back. So you'll see here that it says 128 of 128 jobs are processed. But again, I only did 64 style directions. So again, these are done in pairs. It's very important, especially if you're trying to budget for fast hours and such things. Okay, here we go. Style tuner is ready. I got the prompt message. I'm just gonna click on this little link that they send you. And then it says, yeah, trust these wings. Yeah, I trust you guys. And bang, it allows you now to open up the style tuner or the tuner. And you'll see here up in the in the uh, URL, it says tuner.midjourney.com slash whatever the heck the link at the end is here. So here is what it came up with. And I, I asked for a Helltown and or Hellhound in red and orange. And look at all these different styles. And these are done in pairs. So the left side and the right side. And you can go ahead and flip through these. I mean, these ones are pretty good here. Those look scary as all hell. These look like they could be used for a logo. And you just go through them. And then if there's something that you really like, like if something stands out to you, let's just go through them here. They're all quite good, but... Um, I don't know, I kind of like, oh, these look too much like normal dogs. Uh, I don't know, what's this crazy looking bugger on the right here? Whatever, let's just go with this style over here on the right. I'm going to click on that, and then look at this. At the bottom, it says here, forward slash imagine. So this is the prompt I used, angry red and orange hellhound. But here is where the money is. It's this dash dash style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, or alternatively, you can just click on this little copy button right here. And I'm going to click that, and so I've copied it to my uh, clipboard. And now I'm going to go back into Discord here, and let's just go forward slash imagine. Oops. Ah, come on, Curtis, you could spell. And then you'll see that this time I've got the style. So this was the style that I used to create the look that I like. Now, instead of maybe a red and orange hellhound, maybe I want a red and orange, I don't know, horse, whatever. I could have some fun, hit enter. This will generate the horse in the same style that it created that hellhound that I like right here, which is this style here, for example. There is more, though, that you can go ahead and do. Let's just scroll up here to the top. You'll see here you could compare two, two styles at a time, and you can also pick your favorite from the grid. So let me show you what the grid is here. If I click on this button, we've now gone into the grid, and now basically you get onesies and twosies beside each other. So I can go this one, this one, or this one, and I can click on them and select them. And here's the thing, when I go down to the bottom again, let's just go ahead and delete all that maybe. If I select this, 
one. For example, you'll see here that it has given me the style used for this one. And right now this is so new that it looks like uh, actually you may be able to select multiple styles and it will create like a blend of styles. But if you want just one style, which is what I would recommend at least to start, just make sure that you've got one image selected. Maybe I want this one here instead. I would unselect that one and look at this. I just take that style, I copy it. I can go back into Discord and then boom, forward slash imagine. And then I would go angry, angry and red, orange. And then instead of that, I would go horse. And I've got the style there, dash dash style. And I'm going to be using the style that I just took right here from this that's going to be used in the style tuner. So that is the style tuner as it stands right now. This could be changed in the near future because again, it's brand new, but let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.